Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Come Mod with me. Um, today we're actually going to be upgrading our mod from 1.2.5 to 1.3.2. Woohoo! Alright. Um, I've checked Mod Loader and I've been playing around with it for a while now and it seems like everything is going to be okay for us to continue with our tutorial in 1.2.3. There are a couple changes, but so far everything that we have made is not different. Um, there will be a couple of things that will be different later on, but right now, everything is perfect. So what you need to do is download the new MCP. And to do that, you come to mcp.oceanlabs.de. Um, I'll put the link in the description. And then you want to get 7.2. So just click that. It should begin downloading. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Um, MCP is downloaded. Next thing you need is to get Rizugumi's... Rizugami's mod loader um, and that's just here I'll put a link in the description download the 1.2 or 1.3.2 version um, I already have now in your mods open up your folder we have our first mod here let's move 7.2 into here open it up make sure everything's okay let's make a new folder here we're gonna label this 1.3.2 point three point two and move this into here and extract here should take a second and we're done now the next thing you need to do is go into your jars just like before <coughs> and if you have minecraft you need to get a uh, you need to get a brand new um, source files for minecraft so new jars so hit options force update done load it up I've already done that so I'm not going to do that right now and then come into your Minecraft with app data. So you up here you type percentage app data percentage. There we go. Open up your Minecraft. Take your bin and resources and copy them into here. That's finished. Open up your bin. Open up Minecraft with WinRAR. Open up Mod Loader with WinRAR. Hit Control A to get everything in here and move it into here. Okay. Now, one thing you don't want to do is delete the meta inf. Uh, don't worry about that. It's fine for modding. It's only when you install a mod that you have to delete that. So just leave that there. Um, exit out. Everything should be fine. And just like before, go into your folder here and click decompile. This may take a while, so I'll be back as soon as it's finished. Okay, it's finished. Um, don't worry about the errors. Everything should be up and running, and we should be good to go. All right, so uh, restart later. Um, now let's open up our Eclipse folder. Okay, so instead of opening up my mods, my first mod, we're going to change it to browse and go to, oops, 3.2. Th sorry, yeah, 1.3.2, and then Eclipse. Okay, okay. Now open up your Minecraft Mods folder. Open up your 3.2. Go down to Source, Minecraft Net, Minecraft Source. These are all your Java files. And open another instance of your folder, and open up my first mod, Source, Minecraft Net, Minecraft Source. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find all of the classes that we created last time and we're going to import them to our new um, mod folder. So what you do is you come in here and you find the ones that we worked on. Now this is harder when you have bigger mobs, mods um, but ours is really small so just look up just type MO and you should get to mod tutorial. Take that and move it over. Move here. Um, I think we also created um, some items. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Item tutorial stuff. Where are we? There we go. Just control all these here and drag them and move them over. And I think that's it. I'm not too sure. Um, so now that we've opened this up, we have errors. The reason why we have some errors is because we just imported our previous files and they're not going to all be correct. Um, and it's a little bit different in the makeup of this package explorer. 
right here is Minecraft Source. You have all these bouncy castle um, things here. Just ignore them for now. You want to open that up. And here's all our files again. Now let's find or let's find where the errors are. Down here it'll say six errors. First one is uh, server is missing. That doesn't matter. Ah, stair double cannot be resolved to a field. Let's find out where that is. Item tutorial axe. Here we go. Now when they changed to 1.3. Point two, they changed what this name of the block is here. And a, a quick fix for this would just be to find the item axe. Come here and see where it has, there it is, the blocks that it's effective against. And just find this right here. Copy this all the way to the end. There we go. Control C to copy. Now come back in here and just put this all over here and Control V to paste. That should change that error just fine. Um, yeah, that's good. And I think once we save this, error is gone. Next one, again, we have a couple of these double stairs. So let's come over to here. Where is this? Double click on this, take you to the new one. Block stair single. That's actually different now. Stair double. Um, just go back into item tutorial X and see what they're called here. Bookshelf wood chest stone double slab stone single slab. I see. What are these called? Block stair quick fix for this is just to find a pickaxe, item pickaxe, just like you did the tutorial, uh, just like you did, whoa, what did I just, <laughs> I don't know what I did, alright, so let's uh, find a pickaxe, there we go, and now once this opens up, you take again, block effectiveness, and just copy this line right here, all the way to the end, It's going to take a little bit of while. There we go. Oh, stink. I hate it when it does that. Just shift end. There we go. Control C to copy. Come here and paste. There we go. I think the error should be gone once we save it. And it is. Next one. Two errors. Project missing server cannot be built until with this. Okay, don't worry about those two errors, those are fine. Alright, so as far as I can see, come up here to the top. Note there's no errors here, that's fine, everything's working good. Okay, so we have successfully um, moved our tutorial to 1.2.3. Now obviously there's not much difference in the items, <laughs> otherwise we'd have a lot more errors. The biggest change was with the, uh, with the block types that, are, that, are, that it's effective against. And let's go to our mod tutorial file. <coughs> Excuse me. And now that we've finished items, um, if you have any questions about any other items, just post them below um, in the comments, and I'll go through them, and I'll make uh, some more bonus videos. Um, by the way, there's more bonus videos coming. I want to do more than just one in between main videos. Um, but that all depends on you. If you want to see them, give me a question um, about an item. If not, I'll just try to find something that I think is interesting and um, try to share with you in a mini tutorial. So anyway, that's items covered. And we will start next week with blocks. So now that we've updated 1.2.3, we're going to start, we're going to create an ore next week, our first ore. We're also going to have it drop experience orbs. And I'll show you how to do that. And I'll show you how many. So if you create a really rare ore, um, more rare than diamond or whatever, um, you can actually add a big amount of experience to it if you wanted to. Um, but I'll show you how to do that and also uh, we'll see if we have time next week to go into uh, furnaces, adding furnace recipes. It has changed because you do have to add whether or not you want to give experience orbs. So yeah, all some, some good new stuff coming up. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. 
make sure you hit the like button it helps me out and please if you have any questions post them in the comments because I'm, I'll do a, a tutorial just for that comment um, I know this is kind of a short one today but we're just upgrading from 2.5 to 2.3 um, sorry Okay, so that concludes our tutorial for today. I know this was kind of short, but the main purpose of this tutorial was to bring us up from 1.2.5 um, to 1.3.2. Um, and the point two doesn't really matter too much compared to point one. They just changed a few things with suffocation damage and stuff like that. Next week, we're going to get into blocks. We're going to create an ore. We're going to have it randomly generate in the world. Um, we might get to smelting. We may or may not. A cool thing to add to blocks now is experience orbs for breaking them. Um, and it is only for breaking certain ones. Like um, the ones that don't break down to a smaller component, uh, like coal, breaks down into an item coal rather than ore coal. You don't get experience um, for breaking down iron because it doesn't break down into an item. Instead, when you smelt iron, you get experience orbs. So you can actually add it orbs to your ores now, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and we'll cover that next week. Uh, again, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get to those and I'll do tutorial videos on those, uh, just short brief tutorial videos for that. Um, and I'm hoping to do a lot more than just one in between videos, maybe two uh, fi short five to ten minute videos. Um, but I need your input. I need to know what you guys want to know. Um, it could be on something we've already covered. Maybe you'd like to know more about swords. I don't know what else you could do with them. Um, we haven't really covered the Enum type yet. I wanted to wait until um, we go into our ores before we start covering that. Make our own uh, Enum material type. Uh, but let me know if you want to see that as well. I can cover that. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out. It lets me know that you want to see more. Alright, this is Aidblade signing off. I will see you next time. Cheers.